Hello, Laura. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, wait a minute. I will just adjust my camera. Okay. So, how are you today, Laura? I'm good. All right. Oh, it seems like it seems like you're lonely. Are you sad? No. Oh, I thought you're sad. Okay, so what did you do on weekends? Um. What did you do on your weekend? Um, in my house. You just stayed at home. Yes. Okay, and then? Um, all right, so Laura, when will be your summer break? Do you have a summer break uh, or summer vacation? No. I know you don't have. Okay, wait a minute, Laura, because I opened the wrong lesson. Okay, so... All right, so let's begin. Oh, oh, I mean, um, we were not able to finish this one, right? Yes. Okay, so we are going to continue the part number five, which has um, a story that you must read and answer the questions after it, okay? So um, let's begin <clears throat> one more time. Okay, so the story again is about Jim breaks his leg. All right, so Laura, can you read it one more time before we answer the question? That was Jim was playing volleyball as always his friend when he fell over. I think my leg broke it, he said. Miss Not, his teacher from the hospital, they wait for the ambulance. <clears throat> but after 10 minutes, it still wants there and Jim start crying. You'll take you in my car, Jim, <coughs> his teacher. She carries Jim carefully to the car and when they drive at the hospital, the doctor say, yes, I'm sorry, your leg is broken. Jim, I'd like you to stay in the hospital until the weekend. Jim doesn't mind because his fr friend come to visit him every evening. They bought him some chocolate and some DVDs and comic because food tastes Horrible, and because Jim was very bored. On Friday afternoon, the doctor said, Well, you can go home now, but you must do any sport. Jim was sad about that. He lost sport, but he un understood. I know that important, he said, but Jim parents want him to be happy. So, that evening at the home, she mother's mind said, Look, Jim, I make your favorite food, a pizza, and that got to be the real of your favorite football team. You can watch it after dinner. Jim Blanche, wow. Thank mom, having a broken leg isn't too bad. He said, hmm, I'm hungry. Okay, so the examples are Jim and his friends were playing volleyball when Jim fell over the school at school. Next one, Mrs. North quickly phoned the hospital. Okay, so question number one, Laura, can you read an answer? Jim went to the hospital by car. Okay, by car because... Because the ambulance 
was late. Okay, because the ambulance was late. Next, number two. Jim Lee was broken to the doctor want him to hospital. Um, doctor wanted him to? Um, hospital. Oh, are you sure Jim's leg was broken so the doctor wanted him to hospital? No, no, that's wrong. To? To stay. Yes. To stay in the hospital for a few days. Number three? Jim feel okay because every evening mm, his friend visit he in hospital. Okay, very good. Visit uh, his friends is the correct answer. Okay, so you got three points here. Okay, how about the next one? Number four. They have chewed some chocolate and DVD. Yes, chocolate and, yeah, chocolate and DVDs or DVDs and comics will be correct. Next one. When she went home on Friday, the doctor told him not to do any sport. Yes, any sport. Next. That evening, she had a pizza for dinner. Okay, pizza and number seven. Later, he watched a video of the favorite football team that he liked the most. Yes, very good. Okay, so you got the score here of seven points. Okay, it means you got perfect. Okay, next one, Laura, let's proceed to part number six, which have 10 questions, okay? Read the text and choose the right words and write them on the lines. Okay, example, last year, Betty won a competition in a bookshop. Okay, so continue. She, she had... She was the number of the work okay. in one of the book. The book was so long, a uh, very long. Okay. And she described that the answer was about 10,000 words. A little, uh, the someday, a uh, someday later. Are you sure? A uh, some days later. That that doesn't sound good. A few days later. Okay. Peter got a letter from the bookshop. He said, "Well done. You had your two correct number." Oh, what of is the, the word? Work. Have, had, or has? Has. <clears throat> no, it's not has because it, it must be a past tense. You have. Have, very good. A number of the word in our comparison. Would you like to come to... Okay, to... The book shop to get a person better feel very happy in the next day. She went to the book shop again. Okay. There are lots of people there because a famous TV actress was visiting the shop. She gave a book to Patty and said, this is for you. Okay, for you. It's a book about the English countryside and I have just written. Written. Betty Taylor. Written. Mm -hmm. Betty Taylor and say, 
is look very stirring. It looks, okay? It must be, it must have letter S, okay? It looks very, very stirring. Interesting. Interesting. And the photo are beautiful. Please. Okay, you finish. write your her for me. I want to show all my friends as well. I've enjoyed today. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. So, uh, you got one mistake here. So, total of um, nine points. Okay, next one. This is part number seven with five questions. So read the postcard and write the missing words. Write one word on each line, okay? So in this part, Laura, you're going to um, think of the correct word that you must use in the, um, what is one? In the sentences, okay? okay? So can you read it now? This was my birthday last Saturday, I went to the circus with my mom and dad. First, we saw the elephant and then we... we <clears throat> and then we was... We was, no. They... And then... They are there. They. Uh, you, you listen, okay? And then they was a football. And then they was. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Play. And there. And then there was a football game with 10 dogs. Okay, continue. I like the clown more. Hmm. I like the clowns more. <clears throat> People. I like the clowns more than any else. Mm -hmm. Anything and else. And I learned a lot. A woman also play with two tiger. And a lion. Okay, and is correct. Next. I was afraid because I look very dangerous at the end. I paused then to do some music, which was, which was very good. I very... Which was very good, I... Very like. I very go. I, uh, I very like. Um, are you sure? Yes. Okay, I would. I like would to go the circus again next year. Love from Sally. Okay, so three points here for you, Laura. All right, so that's the end of the first um, part. Now I'm going to open the second one. Wait for me.
Okay, wait a minute, Laura. Because I have to open it. Okay, so the next one will be speaking activity. Okay, so so now, um, Laura, I want you to describe and tell me about your dream house. Uh, Uh, what is your dream house, Laura? Mm. It is a color white and blue. Okay, so your house, your dream house would be a color white and a blue house, right? Yes. Okay, what else? How many uh, floors? How many floors does it have? Floor, um, seven floors. Seven floors. Well, that's a very high um, house. Okay, and then um, what is your favorite room in your dream house? Uh, Favorite room? I don't know. Okay, so do you want a living room? Do you want the guest room? Do you want the swimming pool? Or what do you want to... What would be your favorite pl uh, place or room in your dream house? Do you have any idea or no idea yet? No. Uh, not yet, because maybe you're still very young to think about that, right? Yes. Okay, so next one, Laura. What is your dream job and what? why do you want to do that job? I don't know. Um, you didn't think of? Um, no. You didn't think of your career yet? No, I okay. don't. Okay, next one, Laura. As you can see, there are two similar pictures. Okay, now you have to tell me the differences that you can see between them. Picture one. The weather is cloudy. But picture two, the weather is rainy. Picture one. On the man is worry a have a breath and the hat but picture two the man don't have a breath and the hat mm -hmm. picture one the clock is four clock but picture two the clock is half past one mm -hmm. picture one uh it's a horse either grass, but picture two is a count with apple. Picture one is have three fly next to the flower, but picture two have a three spider next to the flower. Mm -hmm. Very good. So one, the car is color red and the floor is oh, um, cloth, picture one. The car is color blue and the floor is closed, uh, open. Mm -hmm. Picture one, the apple is on the chair, but picture two, the apple is under the chair. <clears throat> picture one, the uh, two chicken is it break, but picture two, chicken is it water. Picture one, the egg. The frog is 
on the picture on the floor is on the box, but uh, under the box. Oh, wait. In the box, mm -hmm. but picture to the frog is on the box. Okay, is that all? Okay, so yes. let's see. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight differences. Okay, but you were able to give me, I think it's six or seven. Uh, okay, maybe seven. Okay, wait a minute, Laura. Teacher will just go to the restroom, okay? Wait for okay. me. Okay, let's continue now, Laura. All right, so now let's check how many points do you got. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven. You got, you have explained seven differences. Mm, in this activity. All right, so look at the picture, Laura. This is the house where Paul and Peter live. It, I don't know anything about Paul's bedroom, but you do. So I'm going to ask you some questions. All right, so Laura, these are the details about Paul and Peter's bedroom, okay? So now I'm going to ask you. Oh, where is it? Okay, so Laura, um, is Paul's bedroom upstairs or downstairs? Upstairs. Mm -hmm. Where is it next to? Bedroom. Um, what's the color of the walls? Blue. How many windows does it have? Two. And then last one, what is Paul's favorite thing on his bedroom? Computer. Okay, very good. Next one. Okay, now. Um, all right, so now in this part, Lori, you have to ask me the questions, okay, about Peter's bedroom. Uh, what? Um, Peter's bedroom. Again? Uh, what? Uh, it's not, you don't use what? You, sh you should use where? Where? Peter bedroom. Uh, where? Peter bedroom. Again, again, again. Where is? Where is Peter's bedroom? Okay, Peter's bedroom is downstairs. Uh, next to Peter's bedroom. Uh, oh, that's correct. Peter's bedroom is? What? 
Oh, you continue. You continue your sentence. Peter's bedroom is next to. Peter's bedroom next to was. Uh... Yes, hmm. that's correct. Um. Okay, you must say where is Peter's bedroom next to. Or again, again, you say it. Where is Peter's bedroom next to? Okay. Peter's bedroom is next to the kitchen. What a uh, color Peter's bedroom. All right. Peter's bedroom is color red. How many we know Peter's bedroom have? Again, 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 again. How many windows bedroom have? How many windows does? Oh, you, you should put the word does. Again, one more time. How many windows does... Um, does Peter... Peter have... Okay, very good. So, there are three windows on his bedroom. Last one. What Peter favorite thing in her, in his bedroom okay very good so peter's favorite thing on his bedroom is a television okay now look at this one laura this picture tells a story oh what happened okay so look at the pictures laura this picture tells a story it's called the same suitcases. Okay, look at the pictures first. All right, so this is the first part of the story. Okay, Laura, can you read it? Oh. A woman. Um, a woman and a man are going on, on holiday. They don't know each other. They are putting their clothes in their suitcase. Their suitcase look the same. Now you... Tell the story. Mm -hmm. So that is the first part, okay? A woman and a man is going on a holiday. So they're putting their things inside the suitcases, okay? How about number two, Laura? Um, and they are going to the plane. Mm -hmm. And they open it. It is okay, but um, does it this okay? Is look um look like mm -hmm. they look like, and they are is um pick a wrong okay. Okay, they, they were able to pick up the wrong suitcases. Okay, next one. And the woman is wearing a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. so, and the man mm -hmm. wearing his t-shirt. Woman t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is how the story goes. Okay, in picture number one, mm, the woman and the man um, is going on a holiday and they're putting their things inside the suitcases. Now, picture number two, they were about to ride the plane, right? So they're bringing the suitcases. So in picture three, the man and the woman are going down the plane. So suddenly in picture four, when they opened their suitcases, they were surprised because maybe they picked up the wrong suitcase at the airport. Okay, so in number five, uh, okay, so the woman um, wore the shirt of the man while the man wore the blouse or the dress of the woman. Okay, good job, Laura. So let's answer the questions right here. Question number one, where are they now? Um, 
in the house. In the house, okay. So what are they carrying? Uh, a socket. Mm -hmm. What are they doing now? Mm, going to the plan. Okay. What's the weather like? Rainy. Rainy. Now, what's the problem? Huh. Um, uh, they pick a wrong socket. Mm-hmm. What's the woman wearing? And what is she doing? The woman wearing a t-shirt. The man t-shirt. Mm -hmm. How about the man? What is he wearing? And what is he wearing, doing? Wearing a woman t-shirt. Yes, they were. Um, they they wore the different or the wrong uh, kind of clothes. Okay, next one. Have they seen each other? Uh, have, have they seen each other? Yes. Yeah. So, do you think are they they are laughing? Yes. Yes. Oh, why do you say that they're laughing? Because they see a uh, mm. They see what? T-shirt. Ah, okay. They are laughing because they saw each other wearing their own clothes. Okay, very good. All right. So we are finishing the next one. Okay, now let's proceed to the last part. Okay, where is it? All right, so the next one, wait a minute, my candy got stuck on my teeth. Okay, so the next one is unit, do, and about. Okay, this one is lesson number two, holiday fun. Um, warm up, letter A, choose and write the words and complete the story, okay? The story is about Halloween, okay? Read it now, Laura, and choose your answer from the box. Halloween is my favorite holiday. It is on October 31. 31st. 31st. Mm -hmm. It is a fun holiday for children. My, my friend and <clears throat> I wore Halloween costume. <clears throat> We walk around the neighborhood. We we say trick or trick. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we collect candy and chocolate. Mm -hmm. All the children come to our house too. My dad give them candy and chocolate. Okay, very good. So. Four points for you. Okay, so we have here some questions, Laura. Answer if it's yes or no. Okay, number one, is Halloween in November? Yes. Oh, uh, no. No. Okay, that's correct. No. Two, do children wear costumes on Halloween? Yes. Yes. Number three, do children come to Cody's house? Mm, yes yes of course okay so good job three points for you okay next one laura so 
Okay, this is word practice, letter A. Choose and complete the sentence and discuss your choices. Okay, so you must read the first question, Laura, and um, choose your answer from the box. Okay, number one. New Year Day in Korea is on <clears throat> January 1st. January 1st. First. First. <clears throat> again, again, again. First. First. Yes, very good. I'll continue reading. By a lunar calendar. Mm -hmm. Two. Probably it humble. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Where? Not eat. They eat rye cakes. Look. To. To. I, I think uh, that's that's Tiok Gok. Tiok Gok. Mm -hmm. Children go to their parents and grandparents. Okay, grandparents. Okay, that's correct. So, three points. Next one. Children, children's day in China is on June first. Mm -hmm. Children do fun activities. Okay, activities. They get person from the parent. Okay. They can go to the movie and park for free. Okay, very good. So eight points here. Ah, oh, seven. Se oh, oh no. Go back, go back. Okay, so seven points here, Laura. Okay, next one. Let's see. Okay, there's one more. Number nine. Christmas on December <clears throat> 25. Mm -hmm. People make Christmas tree. Okay, Christmas. Uh, put up. Put up Christmas trees. They exchange Christmas card. Are you sure? Exchange? Make. Okay, make. They exchange gifts. Yes. They exchange gifts. So, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so seven, eight, Okay, so 10 points for you. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute, Nor. My scoring is... So this one is 7. 7. 8. 9. 10. Yeah, 10 points. Okay, next one, Laura. This is mm -hmm. part number three, grammar practice, right? In or on? They go, go to the zoo. You choose if it's in or on. In December, Children Day. Okay, no, 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 no. You just choose with uh, between the words in or on. They go to the zoo in Children Day. On. Okay, on Children's Day. Next. Children Day is on April 30th. 30, 30th. 30 in Mexico. Mm -hmm. My best friend <clears throat> birthday is in March. Yes, in March. My mom was born in 1970. Yes. Korean New Year Day. Yes, day is 
on January first, the lunar calendar. Okay, last one. To drop in Sunday. On Sunday. Okay, so. Okay, one mistake only. It's number one. Okay, so five points for you, Laura. Very good. All right, so Laura, that ends our makeup class for tonight. Okay, so I'm going to see you again on our next class. Okay. All right, keep going, Laura. Goodbye. <laughs>